the boys are in sun city or rather should i say sin city hello everybody and welcome back to the kmf channel this is k critiques where we discuss all things south african television and today we are breaking down season one episode three of adulting titled sin city let's get into it so we see the boys driving off to sun city for eric's birthday they get into trouble with the law bonga was speeding up and they get into a bit of trouble with the police but you know like south african police like just give them a bit of cool drink money and everything will be sorted ubonga goes to do that but eric guys i keep saying this and i'm gonna say it again his temper and him not thinking about the consequences is gonna be his downfall i feel like these signs have been dropping since episode one now that he's just so impulsive so hot-headed so bad tempered that it's gonna boil up and he's gonna end up losing his daughter because of it this is all just the build up to when he finally implodes they then get arrested obviously Vuyani goes ahead calls the MEC MEC sorts it out and they are on their way to Sun City they run into these girls it's four girls against four guys and they are like we're gonna meet up in Sun City and eventually they do get to Sun City and they meet up with these girls and I'm not even gonna lie, this episode was giving me a bit of fat phobia. Like, it was just giving like those icky vibes because out of the four girls, all three girls were skinny. And the one girl that Ubonga and Vuyani both didn't want. So Ubonga and Vuyani were fighting for this one girl. And it would have been a different story if that other girl that both Vuyani and Bonga didn't want was not chubby like she was literally the chubby girl of the group and they both didn't want her which is giving me the egg like it just had that hint of oh it's, it's giving fat phobia but you know what we're gonna let it slide a bit but i am side eyeing it a bit i'm i was like side bombastic side eye criminal offensive side eye like that gave me the ick a bit less than Mpo actually going after this woman while he's married with kids. Like Mpo disgusts me. Like <laughs> I'm gonna be bashing Mpo until he gets his act right or until Zitulele leaves him. Because what is this, child? So, anyways, they all get together and now we're getting a bit of competition between ubonga and vuyani and obviously ubonga feels like he's better than vuyani because he has a business he has money he has a car he has an apartment whereas he feels like vuyani doesn't have anything just because he is not like as quote unquote successful as ubonga and because he doesn't have like a business or anything going for himself other than the fact that he is sexually intimate with the MEC, right? Who oh, Eric hasn't seen or spoken to his daughter and it's now been two weeks. Continuity wise, that is going to help us moving forward. It's been two weeks since he's seen his daughter in the previous episode in episode one it had been a week since he last saw his daughter so now it's been two weeks so that is gonna help us to gauge the continuity of the show which is actually good kudos to uh the production company for helping us actually gauge time to see how much time has passed so that we're not actually confused like Oh, these people have only seen each other for two days. No, it's actually been a week. But shame, his daughter ends up calling him. She had to borrow a phone from her friend at school and wait for her mom to fall asleep just so that she can call her dad, which is quite sad when you look at it because the daughter wants to interact with the father. The father wants to interact with the daughter, but the mother is the one keeping them apart took her phone is actually keeping tabs on the daughter got a protection order against eric just so that 
Eric stays away and that she can cinch this rich man. And it's like, this man is just your boyfriend. You're not even married. And you're throwing away the father-daughter relationship for a man who might just leave you tomorrow. Side eye, Natasha. Side eye. We actually get more information about how these guys made. So they all did engineering, which I was actually surprised by. I knew that... Uh, they were friends in varsity. They made in varsity because of the description of the show. But they actually all did the same course. Now, we don't know whether another one did mechanical engineering. The other one did electrical engineering, civil engineering, industrial engineering. They, I don't know. But then we see, obviously, um, Umpo is working a corporate job in the engineering field. Ubonga has an engineering consulting company that he just kicked off the ground with the investors and we do see that okay eric is using his engineering in a particular type of way by performing like carjacking also works on cars so he's a mechanic so he works on cars maybe he did more of the mechanical engineering i don't know that's what i'm assuming mechanical engineering has to do with as the time goes the competition between Uvuyani and ubonga is amped up because now this lady has to decide who she wants but she's leaning more towards ubonga bonga like has that quiet mysterious vibe that makes you want to just crack his crack his shell and just get inside and he was quiet he's that um i don't have to work for it and that makes you want him to notice you in a, a way Buyani settles for the chubby girl but they end up having fun so yeah it is what it is obviously ubonga was the bigger man and he won their little bit and they end up now going on a game drive eric is like i'm a gangster from the hood game drive sitting in a car watching animals that's not my thing he goes to gamble so he's not part of the drama poor bonga and Vuyani. they're going on a game drive everything everyone is having fun and they actually start talking about commitment they actually start talking about relationships and it actually gets to a point where bonga's like when i commit i commit i'm not like umpo who cheats on his wife every two seconds <laughs> which was funny to me the fact that they all acknowledging that he's trash bonga literally was like umpo dirty like he's rubbish he cheats on his wife and i'm not like that so when i commit and when i commit myself to a person you know that i don't cheat and he's like um even with my the the woman that i was ready to marry who is ulerato and we actually find out more about him ubonga that he was in a relationship a committed relationship with this lady and he actually wanted to marry her out of varsity that she was sleeping around with a bunch of the guys in varsity and we actually find out that vuyani was one of those guys that she slept with and I feel like Ubonga has that thing of I'm better than Uvuyani. So for him to find out that Vuyani actually stepped with this girl got to him. Like, because it, it feels like Uvuyani one upped him. And as much as they were just fighting for this one girl there at Sun City, it was also a thing of proving who's better than the other. And I feel like it also broke bro code. Like, sleeping with your friend's girl, that's just trash that's just trash like, they get into a fight he even finds out that umpo knew about it all these years but didn't tell him which also breaks bro code like if you find out that your man your bro's girl is cheating like just have the common decency to be able to tell them it's just giving fake friend to me but also at the same time vuyani brought that up because he didn't think it was that big of a deal because he maybe he thought that bonga knew that oh this girl is for everybody like we're all just sleeping with her but i think he didn't understand that ubonga was actually planning on marrying this girl and that he was serious about this girl after ubonga sleeps with the woman that he was pining after at sun city we find out that the lady is married and she actually shares a piece of information which is gonna serve us for the rest of this season i think it it's letting us into bonga's psyche without 
him actually being the one to tell us so we said from this lady who's like bonga i'm married but i was scared of commitment and my husband was unobtainable for me i thought my husband was something that i will never have in my life he was out of reach for me to him because i couldn't have him so you are the type of man to go after something that you you don't necessarily think you can have this is the case with Nganyezi. Nganyezi is like a friend or like related to your business partner related to somebody that you're doing business with so they are not obtainable for you and he wanted that he was always like ah commitment no i'm just gonna sleep around why would i settle down when i have 80 million and then all of a sudden he's like i want to be in a relationship with you blah 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 at first i thought it was because he wanted to be in a relationship but now that this woman shared this it's actually making me second guess is did he propose a committed relationship with unkanyezi because he felt like he was ready for commitment and he felt like he found the right one or is it because Unkanyezi was playing hard to get? She was something that he couldn't have, but then he wanted it. It was part of the chase. That was part of the excitement for him. I've, I'm loving the show so far. The way that they're executing everything, the way that the directive direction that they're taking, I feel like he's gonna carry this conversation and take it to heart, which he did. Cause it was like, what does she know? She's married. How can she tell me this and that? It touched a nerve. Even though he's not willing to admit that it did touch a nerve. And I'm, I can't wait for us to actually unpack the reason why Ubonga is so afraid of commitment, the reason why he's such a player. I feel like it does also have to do with his dad abandoning him and his brother and his mother at a young age. But I feel like it also has to do with the fact that he wants the unobtainable. He wants what he can't have. He likes the fact that he can quote unquote conquer his wildest dreams and i feel like it also has to do with the fact that he didn't grow up in a world or family he grew up in an impoverished background and him being so driven him actually even obtaining this 80 million rand deal is him being able to reach and say i never thought i could have this growing up and i worked so hard to be able to become an engineer and be able to get this company off the ground get investors and buy myself this car and have this house and build my mama house these are all the things that i never thought that i would be able to achieve and have so every time he finds an obstacle any time that he finds something that he feels like i can't have it he wants to have it just to prove that he can because of how he grew up growing up not having things and wanting things makes you want to get those things and once you get those things when you find something else that you feel like you can't have or you're made to think that you can't have it you want to get it and then we get the last scene the tension between ubong and Vianney is still rife and eric wasn't at the game drive so he doesn't know what happened so he's like okay we were having fun in sun city why all this tension and then it gets to a point where vuyani and ubonga are going at it and umpo is trying to calm the tension but he's just adding fuel to the fire bonga is like okay you guys get out of my car they get out of the car he drives off and <laughs> leaves them on the side of the road <laughs> But he does come back for them like a few minutes later and then it feels like they're cool they sorted it out but i feel like they haven't really spoken about it they haven't really resolved the issue and i feel like it's gonna come up at a later stage they they managed to fix it this time but that was just a band-aid over a gashing wound like, that was adulting episode 3 season 1 titled sin city please do like share subscribe turn on that notification bell so that you are notified every single time i upload a new video and please do comment down below your thoughts on the episode your predictions for how the season is gonna play out what would you like to see happen in the season what storyline would you like to be explored let me know in the comment section down below and i will see you in the next one peace